Yo, what's going on, you guys? It's you guys always make fun of me because you know I'm always wearing my AirPods and my TikToks and everything, and it gets to me sometimes, man. Okay. Here, welcome back to a brand new video. I hope you guys are doing great today. Today, I'm going to be talking about something a little bit serious, so I should probably dino down, dino now, die, die. I tried to make a joke and it didn't work out. I'm sorry, guys. I, I, I apologize. I so sorry. So, today, guys, I'm going to be talking about the time, uh, junior year of my high school career. Hey, look at me rhyming. Junior year in my high school career. Yeah. yeah. No, God, please, no. But, guys, I'm going to be talking about the time that there was a possible school shooter in our building. It was probably one of the most terrifying things I've ever had to go through. During that time, there was some reason always school shootings happening around America. Like, literally two weeks ago, we heard about a school shooter happened in Florida and I think like months before that there was some other school shooter in like Connecticut I think I don't know it was some state in the United States for sure obviously where do you ever hear school shooters happening outside of America no because we still have guns and it's so easy to access them I'm not gonna get into my political views because I might get hate for it but I think you guys get it right now. All right, let's just start the story. Before I do begin, please give this a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you hit my notifications if you guys are new. And after watching this video, let me know in the comments down below uh, your thoughts. And also, have you guys ever been through this before? Like, I, I, I want to know your thoughts. Feel me? Talk to me in the comments. I'll be responding to a bunch of comments within the first hour of this upload. So, yeah, let's get it. All right, so the story began when, obviously, I was in a junior year of high school. Um, we were hearing a lot of rumors of this guy basically saying how he's going to shoot up the school. Which, first of all, if a person is actually going to shoot up a school, they're not actually going to brag about it and say it to everybody else. This kid was very quiet. He didn't fill up the description of like a school shooter, but he, his characteristics maybe a little bit he was just a very quiet kid now i'm not saying every quiet kid is gonna potentially become school shooter and bomb buildings and all of that but pretty much all of these school shooters and people who bomb places and do stuff like this they you know their childhood is you know very quiet they don't really do much and or say much in class and he was very much of that person so my day obviously was going smoothly um and then came around lunchtime i would say lunchtime me and my friends would always like play uno and like we would have like card games and stuff and honestly it really just filled up my lunch so it won't really be that boring <laughs> and all of a sudden we just hear like you know a ringing like this like this alarm that just went off but it wasn't just any normal alarm it was a specific alarm i don't know how to say it, it was just like du, du. it wasn't like an alarm like a fire alarm it was more like a i don't know it was it was just, i can't describe the sound it was just it was just not a fire alarm it was just a specific kind of alarm that's what i'm trying to say and me and my friends were busy playing cards or whatever and all of a sudden we hear that alarm and basically all the lunch ladies and the deans and the assistant principals that were at the lunchroom because there's always deans there's always assistant principals there just to control a little bit of the lunchroom and so they kept going back and forth pacing back and forth and everybody knew something was wrong everyone knew something was gonna be up and they were literally pacing back and forth a lot of them were like literally scared for their lives i was just chilling to be honest i was just like well i was dead inside anyways rather just take me out <laughs> should probably not be joking about that no but for real guys it was honestly kind of terrifying to see the principal and like the assistant principals and the deans and like especially the lunch ladies as well that were working there just pace back and forth lock all literally super lock i didn't even know these existed but they super locked all the doors and everything and man it was just so terrifying so we were literally there for more than an hour we got released later than we did um i usually leave around like 2 p.m but then we got released at 3 p.m which was kind of annoying to be honest the only reason why it took so long guys was because the cops were coming and everything and they were literally going to every single classroom guys every single classroom to see who was the one basically bragging and telling everybody hey i'm going to be shooting up the school um and he was writing it on desks and people were taking snapchats of it and posting it on their story 
and the assistant principals found out and stuff like that so they had to lock down the school because they knew that this person is still in the school at that time and you guys would not believe it the kid right he was in my law teacher's class the whole entire time right there right in front of him that was the most scariest thing literally our law teacher was like that was actually kind of creepy to find out that he was right there during the whole entire time it ended up obviously as a false alarm because a school shooter wasn't active at all during the whole time but they had to do it as precaution especially during that time especially now like they should still take precautions but at that time like two three years ago they there was a lot of school shooting going on around that time like i said two weeks ago the florida shooting happened a month or maybe two months before that another school shooting happened like they had to take very serious precautions it ended up as a false alarm we, we all even though it took a really 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 long time we ended up all finally leaving and going home and literally we were all over the news even though you know a school shooting actually didn't happen thank god but we were all over the news everyone was talking about us they were interviewing us it was just so hectic one of the craziest days of my life i should say and honestly it got kind of a little bit scary because at first i was like there's no way there's an actual active school shooter like what the heck because you don't believe that it's gonna happen to you right you always see on the news you see even in movies and tv shows and stuff like that but you never actually think oh this might happen to me or this might happen to my friends or my family whoever you just don't think of something that bad happening to you or to anybody you know you're associated with it's just too crazy to think about but like i said we went on lockdown for like literally four hours um i had lunch at 11 and we got released around like 3 to 3 15 it was like one of the most annoying but also one of the most like a little bit scary moments of my life and i was just like yo i ain't trying to die today man like if you want to take me just don't take me right now why right? you could take me later on in life but like right now i'm trying to build my career i'm trying to build my life i want to at least have kids feel me and now you're gonna kill me man dude what's good with you bro come on bro come on we can we can we can work things out i'm just trying to make this a little bit lighthearted than you know i want it to be if you guys are wondering what happened to that kid that got caught um he actually got sent supreme court and he got arrested obviously because he just kept spreading to the fact and making people actually scared that he is going to shoot up a school and stuff like that and i don't know about your guys' country but here in america it's illegal to do that and i'm in law school so i know what's up about the law like if you even say oh there's a fire and there isn't a fire you could get arrested for that and you could get fined for that like that's not okay you can't just scare people like that it's so messed up but yeah guys that's the end of today's video i really hope you guys enjoyed let me know your stories in the comments down below uh it was a pretty scary moment i'm not gonna lie but you know what we all go through things in life and that was definitely one of them i never thought in in, in my whole entire life i would ever go through that still right now like sitting here i'm like yo i really went through that like honestly it was a very terrifying feeling to just sit there and not know what happened what is going on outside of the lunchroom anyways uh give this a big thumbs up subscribe if you're new hit notifications if you guys are new and yeah guys i'll see y'all in the next one peace can't they, can't they feel the world getting hot? Can't they, can't they see the flame that I've got?